Welcome to the second stage of the 8th annual tour of Hainan. We're once again in Chiang Mai, same as yesterday's stage, and we're looking at 174 kilometers of hard racing action. We've got all kinds of things warming up the crowd right now. We've got dancing girls, we've got dragons in the background, and we've got 128 starters from 31 countries all getting ready to go. We're going to check in with yellow jersey Moreno Hoffman. Uh, today we're going to ride for Theo Boss and I'm going to try to get the seconds at, at, inter, at the in, intermediate sprints and maybe I can get yeah, some seconds at the finish line as well. So we're going to, the main goal is riding for Theo but I can stay in his wheel maybe and get some seconds still. I hope so. Best Asian Anwar Manan from Baku is going to fill us in on his plans for the day. Uh, Tour Haina is a really perfect race and then also the weather, very nice weather, same, similar like Malaysia. I think I have no problem with this weather and uh, I have been to Haina already four times. Uh, before I win two stage already in Tour Haina, I think for me no problem. I think uh, for more win, more stage and then Tour Haina race. Very perfect with the organizing and the race uh, road and everything. Really, really perfect. We've got 174 kilometers of hot weather and actually some pretty strong winds coming out of the north. We've also got three sprint points at 36, 47, and 84 kilometers to go. We kind of fish hook around Dingon and then head straight up to the capital of Haikou. The kids from Chiang Mai were completely excited because of the fact that not only were they going to be seeing all of the best racers in Asia coming past, they were going to be seeing them three times. The race started off with three laps of 6.5 kilometers before they headed off to the Northlands. Climbs in town warming up the legs, that sprint started off with a bang 30 kilometers later. Coming across the line, we had yellow jersey Moreno Hoffland. Second place from Belkin was Lars Boom, and Will Walker was taken up third for Draypack Cycling from Australia. The break continued driving on with the first 47 kilometers done in an hour. Brakes went off the front, but nobody was able to make anything stick. But yet, Belkin was still able to come to the fore in sprint number two, except for Fabian Schneid from Champion Systems spoiling the party. The yellow jersey took second, and once again, Will Walker from Draypack got third. After 60 kilometers of racing, we did have a breakaway roll off the front. Christopher Williams from Novo Nordisk, Elchin Azadov from Baku, and Chang Ching Wei from Hong Kong were off on their own. The heat started to take its toll, and Azadov ended up dropping off the back, and then it was only Williams and Jing Wei that were on their way. Sprint number three came across the line with Kevin Williams from Novo Nordisk taking the win over Zhang Jing Wei. However, Zhang Jing Wei taking second place was able to move into the best Asian rider category, capturing the blue jersey. Third place was Kevin Peters from Kralin Euphony. Zhang Jingwei reached a maximum gap of 3 minutes 47 seconds in his 100 kilometer long breakaway and was caught in the last 15 kilometers. After the breakaway was absorbed, Belkin and Baku went to the front, but it wasn't exactly the hottest pace on earth as local Tainan racer Cao Po ended up attacking off the front. In three kilometers, his maximum gap was 22 seconds and he got caught with nine kilometers to go. After 170 kilometers, the toughest climb of the day was a bridge overpass with a wind. And with that wind, we had two teams at the front. We had Belkin and the national team from the Ukraine, both of them setting up their sprinters. Right here, you're seeing the Ukrainians. They've got two kilometers to go, and they've got their sprinter in third place, but Belkin's right behind. What's going to happen here? It is a 300 meters, and they are uncorking the boss. Yes, it's Theo Boss. He's coming across the line but right in second place yes it looks like the yellow jersey french sprinter yannick martinez came across the line in third place with the peloton intact let's hear what belkin's sprinter theo boss has to say about his win today um yeah beginning was pretty hard yeah because uh yeah we didn't want to make uh, any big groups uh, right away mm -hmm. like it was yesterday 
So we try to control a little bit more, which is a bit more boring racing. But uh, yeah, at the end uh, we want to go for a sprint. And uh, I think we did it really good in the final. Uh -huh. It was pretty hard with the bridge and uh, as a non-climber. <laughs> so uh, now I'm happy I can finish it off. We've got excellent coverage from all the press taking a look at not only the trophy girls, but also our stage winners. There's Theo Boss right there, the man who came across the line. Flanking him, yellow jersey, currently dressed in Belkin colors, and that's Moreno Hofland. Zhang Jingwei takes the blue jersey for best Asian rider. It'll go really well with his national champion jersey. And here we have the sprint leader, Moreno Hoffman. Second day for wearing this. And now the yellow jersey, once again, Moreno Hoffman. On the second day, the GC is still unchanged with Moreno Hoffman in first, but Frederic Amorison is only 27 seconds back with Thomas Laser in third, another 10 back. From Heiko, I'm Sean Nagel for Cycling CN. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for Stage 3 and more excitement.